Hi guys, I'm Ruben Lambras from Namibia. That's just next to South Africa for those who don't know. I'm a farmer, I own a tour company and then we take care of some orphan animals which I'll just show you now. So welcome, this is our farm. You can see here we have some indications for people driving in here to drive slow because there is some small animals which might end up under the car which we don't want. Welcome. Hello, Betsy. This is Betsy. She's one of our orphan war dogs. She's a female and she's about three months old now. So you'll see them on the knees because their neck is so short they have to bend down. Otherwise they can't reach the food. Um, and they have very hard um, noses. So you can see she's making a hole even to get out this forage. Yum, yum. I usually take a stick. So they like something sharp because they like to be scratched with that. You can see her hair is even raising, she likes it. You can even make here and she will pick up a leg, showing her appreciation for the love I give her. This is Benny. Farmers found him in a water trough where he was drowning without his mother. Um, they called us and said if we would take him in. Um, this Betsy we found, we don't know the true story behind her, but she was also found alone. I suspect she was the small one and she was just too weak. She, did, she got left behind. Bite my hand. Now they are fighting over the pear. And the sounds Benny is making now is because he's, um, he's like angry and he also wants food, but Betsy don't want to share. We'll have to get Benny his own pear. Yeah, Benny. Let's give Benny also one. There you go. But the pears is a bit big, so the, the mouse are still small, so they cannot bite it too easily. So with ward dogs normally they when they are older they go in nature. Some they still daily visit us but they later in time they get their own babies. They mate with other wild war dogs. So they are wild but also used to us. I should call Zoe. Come here so come sit here. Come here so come here so so we also want some pear. This is Zoe. She's a banded mongoose. So we got her from people that had three. They found them alone in, the, in nature. And she's a handful. So I understand why the people couldn't take care of her. So that's why they asked us to take her in. Um, she has so many different personalities. Like I can't even count all of them. One day she's like this, the next day she's feisty, then she's happy, then she's loving. At the moment it seems like she's very relaxed. She enjoys the scratching. She likes to sit on my shoulder to have a better view because it's a bit higher. Who's this? Betsy. Betsy just one more massage. Scratches. <laughs> Zoe, kick his on. Oh, there's Zoe going. So this is the farmhouse and there we're going to Cindy. My sister, I'll show you Cindy. She's just around here. Hello Cindy. Hello. When she do this, this is greeting. So this is Cindy. She's my 29 year old sister. We call this Cindy after Cindy Crawford, um, the model, because she has some good looks. She became blind about four months ago. Um, so since then, uh, life changed drastically, but she's, a, she's adapting very well. Baboons have a hierarchy in nature. So it's in our situation, my father is the alpha male. Then it's my mother, then it's Cindy, then it's me and my brother, then the warthogs, the meerkats. Actually, the warthogs is even above me. So in nature, they groom each other. They have, that's like social interaction and that's how they show love to each other. So normally they search for insects on the head and anything. Um, she will also let me clean her eyes. So I can show you what she do. She even... As you can see, she closed her eyes. So we have a mutual trust and we are like brother and sister after all. So I'm going to show you Minky. Um, she's one of our meerkats. We actually have a very nice cloudy day. We're hoping for some rains because our lake, as you can see, is completely dry almost. Yeah, here's Minky. Minky, 
Kijk eens. Kijk eens. Kijk eens. Kom eens. Hallo. So Minky is our oldest meerkat. She's. I'll just let her go. She wants to search. So she's about three years almost now. Um, she's the only female we have. Then we have Jerry as well, which I'll show you soon. So this time of the day, she normally goes out searching for some insects. As you can see, there's a fence we keep there for wild animals not to come inside. Warthogs, kudu, oryx, they might destroy our garden. So that's the main reason why. Um, yeah, but these ones like Minky, Zoe, Jerry, they can still go underneath. So they search for insects even outside. Um, the same with the warthogs. We let them stay outside during the day. They come sleep with us sometimes. Where is Jerry now? Jerry! Come here, show. Hello, my papa. This is Jerry. And he's about, let me quickly think, a year and a, about a year and a bit old now. So he had a little brother called Tom and he was Jerry. And um, I see he also want to go for, I'm disturbing his uh, insect searching. So I'll, I'll let him go for now. So we had two of them. They were brothers, Tom and Jerry, but the one um, didn't make it in the end. So all of this land is owned by my parents. It's about 5,000 hectares, so it's quite big. More than eight kilometers to that side. This side also about three kilometers um, wide, so it's quite big. So we do have a lot of wildlife in this area, like oryx, kudu, um, springbok, warthogs, baboons, hartebeest, wildebeest, a lot of different types. I'm just trying to see if we can spot the other warthogs. Come, 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 come. Ah, oh, there is some of the warthogs. This warthog, we just call a sister pig. You can see the babies there running across the road. As they grow older, I probably won't have the chance to come close to them. As the older they get, the more wild they will be. Because these ones we didn't um, raise, hand raise like Betsy and Benny, who was orphans. She wasn't orphan, she was born from one of our orphaned warthog mothers. So that's the difference there, instinct and the wild instinct is just more than the others. So I cannot imagine living anywhere else than here because here you are so close to nature. It's like my therapy. I don't need any medication for that. So I think in the city you are used to cars and people. I'm used to this so that's why I choose to stay here. I'll never be able to leave. Here we have the professional gate opener, my cousin. Thank you. <laughs> Lara, give me Jackal he would like to walk with. Let's go Jackal. This is Jackal. He's about 10 years old almost now. So he's getting an old man now. Um, he loves coming with me to na wherever I go on the farm. Come here, Kass, let's go. So we're going to search for, specifically I want to see Snowy. She's the only white cow I have and she, she just loves attention. So I hope we can find her now. Snowy is my favorite cow. So for the reason she appreciates my love the most. So you will see. Um, I can see she's there. I'm very happy about that. So she just loves attention. Hello, Yella. Hello, all the beautiful ladies. So here we have Snowy. She's my white little cow. You can see she loves attention. Snowy. Eyes even closed. <laughs> Snowy. She's always a happy cow. Always in the mood for a cuddle. She also, when I scratch her, she even lifts up her leg. Oh, there she go. It's like a dog or like Betsy and Benny, they love doing it. And Mink and Zoe. <laughs> As you can see, cows love attention. They, they are just like any animal that have a personality. So, yeah, I love them. They are my, my cow girls. So, I... <clears throat> did not study agriculture, so I, I learned it from my granddad. Um, he used to farm 
already 60 years ago here. Um, you can see she's a bit jealous. She wants attention as well. Okay, it's your turn. Hello. Hello. The cows are the same, then Bets and Benny and Zoe, they like hard scratching. Not soft scratching, that's not enough for them. So they like it hard like this. And you can hear Snow is enjoying it a lot. So now she's like giving love back to me. It's just, it's the same way they lick their calves. It's just to, to show appreciation and that bond they um, create as well. Are you jealous? I think by now I'm like the cow whisperer. Okay, let's give you attention so you can relax. Snowy, what are you doing? Oh, actually very gross. <laughs> so hard tongues. Feels like you're having like a scrub. The head, the tongues are so hard. Smile for the camera.